Today we're going to be creating a blog with Blogger. We like Blogger because it's easy to use, easy to set up, and very quick to get your blog up and running. You're going to go to blogger.com and log in with your Google account. That'll take you to this page where you get to choose your display name, decide if you want email notifications for announcements and advice and also accept their terms of service. The st second step will be to name our blog. So we'll give it a title. That'll appear at the top of the published blog. And then we got to choose a URL. This can take some time. But once you check the availability, if it doesn't work, try again and continue. Next step is going to be to choose your template. This is how your blog is going to appear. You can always change it later and even customize it. Uh, we'll just go with any one and click continue. Anything you do in these first steps is going to be something you'll be able to change. So from here you can start posting or you can customize how your blog looks. We're going to show you what the posting page looks like. When we click start post, we'll be taken to this page. This is the posting screen. You're able to type the total, the title of your blog, post, and then the text of your blog post will go here. You've got a pretty simple editor here with fonts and formats, colors. Uh, to make a hyperlink, you'd highlight and use this button. Uh, you can insert images using this button. You can insert from files on your computer or from a URL. Also, the same thing with inserting videos. And then again, some more text formatting things along the way. You can always preview what your post is going to look like here. And then when you're ready to publish your post, all you got to do is click the publish post button. You'll see this screen and you'll be given the opportunity to view your post. And there's your title up at the top, your sidebar, and there's your post right there. If you want to go back and edit your post, you'll see the little pencil symbol that when you click on that, it'll take you back to this screen. Now we're going to take a look at the dashboard. When you log into Blogger or when you click on this link in the upper right hand corner, it's going to take you to your dashboard. This is what you'll see when you log in. From here you can edit your profile, add a new post, take a look at your comments and doing some other things. We're going to click on the design link and in the viewer the design tab will always be up here. You got three options here. One is to arrange the page elements. And these are the parts of your page. And you'll see the thing you're probably going to edit the most are the gadgets over here in the right hand side or the left hand side, depending on how you have it laid out. Uh, to edit a gadget that's already there, you just click on the edit button, which will allow you to make changes to its name and also to remove it if you want. With these that appear already you can always drag and change their order if you want a particular gadget at the top or if you want it lower. And then the add a gadget option lets you choose from bloggers uh, pre-formatted uh, gadgets that they have. And so you scroll through and you'll see that there are a number of them and once you start adding them, you can customize your blog really nicely. Also up at the top of your screen is what I referenced earlier is the changing of the template. You click on the template designer and it allows you to look at your current blog while you get even more specific with some of these choices. And you can scroll through 
all their different designs and each one has several choices in terms of color schemes and things like that. You can also deal with the backgrounds and change some widths and adjust your layout where you want your sidebar if you want a sidebar and when you make any of your changes you click this apply to blog button if you choose not to you just click the back to blogger button and that will get you back to this screen from time to time you may need to edit your posts and that can be done from the dashboard or from the posting tab we'll just click on the posting tab and it'll default to take you to the new post window but you can also click this edit posts and that's going to take you to a list of posts that you've created where you can delete them or go back and edit them by clicking the edit button Blogger also has a nice feature where you can create what we would call pages. A page is a tab that appears at the top of the blog no matter what. Kind of like the sidebar is always there, the pages will always appear at the top. If you take a look at a example of this you see here you have the pages up at the top of the blog and those are always going to stay there those are going to be static things that are always there and so if you want to edit the pages on your blog we come back to blogger and we can add up to 10 pages and each page the formatting looks just like a regular post and again that's found in the posting tab under edit pages and you can add up to 10. Last thing we want to make you aware of is the settings tab which allows you to adjust all the different settings of your blog when we click on that it'll take us to this screen where we have different options along the top these sub tabs of settings that we can adjust and there's lots of different ones. Most of them default to what you want. You'll want to peruse them on your own just to familiarize yourself. Some of them are kind of depending on how, what you want yours to look like. You can decide how many posts appear on your home page, what your format and your time zone are for your dates. An important one would be by clicking on this comments sub tab you have to decide who you want to comment. If you want to be able to allow anyone to comment, including people who aren't going to leave their name, uh, you would choose this uh, uh, option, or you can make it so only members of the blog can comment. That is something you're going to have to decide. Also, you can create a message that appears when people click comments. And then another important one is comment moderation, where you're choosing if you want to always get an email and approve the comments. And this reduces things like spam from appearing without your permission on the blog. The rest of them are things you'll go through just to personalize your blog a little bit more. You can read more about blogging and find out how teachers are using blogs in their classroom by contacting us through our website engagingeducators.com and you can also find many more tutorials on different edtech tools.